Good morning. Um, <laughs> I have nothing to say. I'm drinking another smoothie. I'm starting to feel better day by day. Like I always say, I'll shut up about it. Um, I, I always like <laughs> double fist. I've got coffee and a green smoothie. Very exciting stuff. Um, I'm still drinking the creme brulee coffee from Aldi's. It's so good. And I was laughing because yesterday we, I was talking to Emily and she was like, all this stuff is from Aldi's. Like they, she, they had made, I don't know if we said, but um, Emily made taco soup for us. And, um, and then she brought dessert and it was like a chocolate cake bought from Aldi's and it was delicious. Um, but she, we were just talking about how awesome Aldi's is and like how cheap everything is there. It's crazy. Um, and how like they'll have variety with just random stuff. Like she was talking about hummus, I think. And how one lady was remarking on how I can get right, or maybe it was guacamole. You can get regular guacamole and spicy guacamole. Like they have options with their like things. And that's, what, does anyone know what I'm saying? I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, so the plan for today, I was sitting in bed making like a to-do list on my phone for today. Because I want to be super de duper productive. So I didn't edit Vlogmas yesterday. The day just got away from us grocery shopping and then having them over. So I'm going to try to get two Vlogmas I up today. Um, well, the day that I'm filming it. And then, um, what else? We are, oh, I need to get laundry done. He's, his, like, MO is, I'm getting the closet done. It will be done. So, um, I hope he does. I'm so excited. But I know it. he's got a lot of work ahead of him because it's a lot in there. And I'll see if I can help. Like, I, the big things, I mean, I, I'd be a little bit of help, but I think, and he's even said, like, you're not gonna be as much help as you think. It's kind of just easier just to, you know, I'm, I've got the one track going, you know, I'm, I'm just cruising. Anyway, but once he starts putting like the accessory, like shelves and stuff, I might be able to help, we'll see. Um, but, hi Pinocchio. Oh. Um, he was very exhausted after Ralph left last night. Um, anyway, so that's kind of our plan, being super de duper productive. And um, I don't think we have any big plans today, which is, Nice. I have one more week of working and then uh, Christmas break or winter break uh, for two weeks. Ah, I'm excited. Okay, so now I'm making an English muffin because of course I need more than just that smoothie. <laughs> so I'm making an English muffin and I ripped the paper towel off and I'm like, huh, that's funny. Last time I ripped it there and it, Tyler looked at it and said, oh my gosh, it looks like the shape of Indiana. <laughs> Here's the other piece I was missing. I think that is hilarious. I can't stop staring at it. <laughs> Very, very exciting laundry day at my household. I'm watching Samantha March. It's her like yearly Best of Beauty 2017. I love her. Um, I'll link her channel in her video below. Um, but yeah, I kind of love laundry days though because it's such a refreshing like, ah, like especially like clean towels and socks and you know, all that stuff. It sounds so dumb, but I'm sure I'm not alone in that and just loving it. Mm. Ralph accidentally left one of his toys. Pinocchio says, mine now. Is that yogurt on your nose again? You got yogurt nose? He said, I always have yogurt nose. Me playing? Ready? Ready? Go get it. Very exciting stuff. Oh, what a valiant run. <laughs> so Tyler's hard at work on the closet. Can I show him progress so far or no? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh my goodness. Everything's Yeah. So this is it so far. It's so hard to like get the whole thing. Yeah. So far. So basically very exciting the, the so far. Shells and yeah. the you know, and then we put all the uh, all the different in. yeah. What all do we get? There's like drawers and shelves and hanging spots and Yeah, all kinds hey. of stuff. So I'm so excited. There'll be another one that size on my side over there. And then he'll be able to, but you even got these like secured to the wall, everything. They're not going anywhere, which is nice. Cause of course, when we move in a thousand years, we're not taking these with us. Yeah. <laughs> Looks awesome. The people who uh, move in don't like it, well, they can deal with it. They well. can deal with it themselves. Okay, I had to show you guys three shirts that I ordered from Etsy. Um, and they just shipped today. Finally, I ordered them a few weeks ago, but like when I ordered it, it even said like, it's not gonna ship until 15 through 17. So it just shipped, I think actually yesterday. They were each $25. They're from um, the Royal uh, or Pixie Dolls something. Oh yeah, Pixie Dust Tees. 
Um, so this one's light green or mint, I guess, and it says shining, shimmering, splendid from Aladdin. And then this one's from Beauty and the Beast. I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. Oh my gosh. And this one was called, it just says raised on Ashman and Minkin, who are like the lyricist and composer, uh, other way around. No, that's the correct way. Lyricist and composer for a lot of Disney movies. Um, like all the ones, I'm pretty sure they were like Beauty and the Beast, <laughs> Aladdin. I feel like it was like all of the ones that I grew up with. I don't know if it was all of them. Little Mermaid for sure. Anyway, so I just thought that was so much fun. So I'm quite excited. And they look like they might not be fitted, which I think is good because that'll be comfy. You know what I mean? You could tuck it in if you want. You don't have to. Um, and I just thought they were so cute. And I was like, okay, $25 a piece. If I were to buy shirts like this in Disney, which please, these in Disney would be like $40 just because they're so like kind of trendy. So not only would they be more expensive, but they always like fit small, which, you know, I just have to go size up, no big deal. But I just feel like this is such a better deal. They're probably more comfortable. Um, I'm just so excited. I love it. And supporting small business. That's always a good thing. So I will link um, these if I can find them. I mean, I'm staring at them, but assuming they're not like sold out or anything, I'll link them below because I'm definitely going to be wearing some of these on our next trip here in a few weeks to Disney World. Okay, low key. I kind of love this in my room. We just set it in. Of course, this is not, <laughs> these are our bathroom rugs we just washed, but like I love the color of this. It's supposed to go downstairs. We put one in our bedroom. We thought two would fit. They did not. They're from Ikea and I can, I can link this chair below. Um, I think it was like 160 bucks. So we bought two of them and only one fit in our bedroom. So we were going to put this downstairs, but right now the Christmas tree is in the way of where it could, could fit in our living room. Um, so we just kind of brought it up here. I think I might just keep it up here and just get like a cute little like uh, maybe like gold and glass like table or something because I could totally sit there and edit on my laptop just for kind of a change of seating because I usually if I'm on my laptop I usually sit there and of course if I'm on my desktop I'm over there but don't you guys think it's kind of cute? I mean beyond the fact that I just need to kind of straighten up my room. I really like this chair and it's ridiculously comfortable. Very random thing, but these are the best pens in the world. I have loved them for years. You have to get the bold 1.4 millimeters because, well, okay. You will love these if you like like thick, juicy writing. If you like really thin, fine points, then of course you'll hate these. But like for me, I struggle to find pens that write really thick. Lee. <laughs> and these do. So every time, the only colors I don't love are like this lime green. Like if I'm grading papers with it, it's really hard to see. But like the purple, the pink is so pretty. The dark purple, um, the dark green. I mean, they're all freaking amazing. I've bought so freaking many of these, used these all the way up, bought more packs. But this one I actually did not buy for school. I bought for myself to have like for work, YouTube work. I don't know why that's in quotes. It is work. But <laughs> Um, but you know, for any time I'm actually writing things down, which I do a lot, but I'm always grabbing just random pens. I'm like, Jessica, treat yourself, spend a couple dollars and get your favorite pens for home too. So I know that's so random, but they're so good. If you've never tried them, you will love it. Also my physician's formula order came in and I've been trying this stuff out. It's so much fun. So this, their, um, spotlight illuminating primer looks so much like the Becca backlight priming filter. Now you'll probably struggle to find this in stores um, for a while since it's so new. Um, so just, I mean, I like I told you guys, I bought it on Physicians Formulas website, which I've never done before. Um, but it was all packaged really well. Um, I got this because so many of you guys recommended it, the Bright Booster Oil Elixir. Um, this is a coconut water primer spray uh, serum that's kind of like brightening. This reminds me of the um, milk cooling thing. I'd use this this morning. And when I open this like this evening, I put it on. I'm like, Oh, I think I like the physician's formula one even more than the milk one. And of course it's like half the price. Um, I bought this powder. I already love, but I bought the matte version. Um, it's a powder foundation and I really, really like it. Oh, the brush hairs are coming through that. Ew, that grosses me out. Um, anyway, this was something funny though. It's their La Velvet foundation. Look how dark that is. It says this is an ivory. Ivory. What? So I kind of swiped it on my face. It's like a cream foundation. No. <laughs> it is very, very 
um, deep to be called ivory. So it's just kind of interesting. I don't know if it was a mistake or maybe that is the lightest they make, but ivory is not quite the right name for something like that. <laughs> um, and then a couple other things I'll be trying out. They're healthy lips I tried on. They were pretty comfortable. Um, some eye primer duos I so far wasn't super impressed with. And then that mascara I'm going to try out tomorrow. So very exciting stuff. Of course, I'm going to try these out for a few weeks and then do a full-on review video and let you guys know my final thoughts. Oh, this is a rose, uh, organic rose oil lip polish. It's like a lip scrub. And this little adorable spatula comes with it. It's so cute. This is part of my side. Slowly but surely, part of his side. And he's still working out there. And he was watching Futurama. <laughs> How's it going, handsome? Oh, well. <laughs> Slowly but surely. I know. This is so exciting, though. This is going to be fun to deal with. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and we got a swift and puppy over the aisle. Oh, Pinocchio.